All right, so we're going to get started. Um, I just want to welcome everyone and thank you for being here with us today as we present our Stride Talks featuring uh, Center for Public Legal Education, Alberta, um, and also Natalie, who will be doing the, well, will be our guest speaker today. So my name is Jessica, and I'm from the John Humphrey Center for Peace and Human Rights, a local nonprofit charitable organization working to advance dignity, freedom, justice, and security through collaborative relationships and transformative education on peace and human rights. Before we begin, I just wish to acknowledge that JHC is located on Treaty 6 territory in Amaskwachi, Waskahigan, which is Cree for this place we call home, otherwise known as Edmonton. In particular, we do wish to acknowledge that the Papas Chase First Nation on whose land we stand, a nation that was an entire, entirely displaced from the land to make way for the ongoing flow of settlers. As we do this work, I just want us all to take a moment to remember how the ongoing manifestations of colonization and genocide impact the spaces we live within today and in the work that we do. So just a quick intro of what is Stride Advocacy. Um, Stride Advocacy is a community-based volunteer advocacy program which works to help community members who are struggling with human rights issues and discrimination to document, draft, and file their issues to the appropriate human rights mechanisms. Stride is a team working to use those mechanisms, albeit not perfect, to push for changes in spaces that affect our daily lives within workplaces, businesses, and those public spaces where we all belong, but yet where many continue to be excluded and pushed out every day. If you are interested in learning more or becoming a volunteer advocate with Stride, please feel free to reach out. I will put our general um, email in the chat. Um, it is just info at jhcenter.org. And you can also just visit our website to find out more about Stride. Um, we would just like a moment to take um, just a sec to thank our funding, uh, which is the Can Canadian Bar Association, Government of Alberta, and Canadian Race Relations Foundation for their support of the work of Stride Advocacy. So we believe an important part of community building and addressing human rights issues is knowing where to go for support and resources for human rights matters and facilitating access to justice. These Stride Talks are meant to be a space for community-based advocates to learn more about tools to guide people in the right resources in the community and to address these issues and support advocacy. So I just wanna welcome our guest speaker today is Natalie from the Center for Public Legal Education, Alberta. And we are thankful to you for taking the time to share more information about your organization and the services and supports they offer. Before I turn it over uh, to Natalie, just a quick note about housekeeping. Uh, she will speak for approximately 30 minutes and then we will allow some time for questions. Um, I've hit the record button, but once we go to questions, I will stop the recording. Uh, please feel free to put your thoughts or questions in the chat or raise your hand um, I, if there's questions, um, if we, if Natalie feels comfortable, we'll answer, but if not, we'll leave it for the end and I'll just make a note and make sure that your question is answered. Um, we ask that you all be respectful and open-hearted in your engagement. And with that, I'd like to welcome and hand things over to our guest speaker. Thanks for being with us today. I'll turn it over to you. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I've been working with the Center for Public Legal Education, Alberta, for oh, about three, a little over three years now. So uh, I'm always happy to talk about this great work. I'm the Education Design and Evaluation Specialist at CPLE. So um, I'm not a lawyer, I'm gonna tell you right away. So perhaps that'll eliminate some of the questions you may have later. Um, I also apologize for people using the closed caption. I have a very, um, well, not a very big, but quite the French accent. So <laughs> the captions may be a little weird. Um, so uh, I, I've put the title, The Law is All Around Us, uh, not to scare anyone, but uh, essentially, um, you know, sort of the law is everywhere. Um, and sometimes, uh, you know, we think that um, just certain instances in our lives uh, require access to legal information, but in fact, it is all around us. So let me figure out how I'm gonna change the slides. All right. Um, okay, good. All right. Um, so learning about the law is not just something you do when you're confronted with a legal issue. Uh, so it's personal legal capability is about awareness, citizenship, human rights, social engagement, and having the confidence to actually advocate for yourself when you need to. 
Um, so at CPLE, we are Alberta's only sole purpose public legal education organization. And our, our goal is to help the public better understand the law as it affects their daily lives. Hence our tagline, making the law understandable for Albertans. So we provide legal information, education, training. We do some research as well and occasionally consulting um, services. Now, some people may ask, what is this CPLE you're talking of? Is this new? Uh, well, you know, we're relatively new. We've only been around for about 48 years. Um, we were uh, established in 1975 under the name uh, Learn, uh, Legal Resource Center. And in, um, in 2012, we became the Center for Public Legal Education, Alberta. And the name changed was simply to um, uh, perhaps have a better representation of what we do and who we are than Legal Resource Center, which sounds a little bit more like providing information for lawyers than the public. And so the goal in 1975 is still the goal now, and it's really to improve access to justice for Albertans. It's a piece of the puzzle, we realize, but it's, I think, we think it's an important piece of the puzzle. We have a team of eight staff, so small, small but mighty team. Um, so it's a mix of lawyers, education specialists, web experts, design and office staff and all that good stuff. We also have, um, um, you know, the work that we do, we can do thanks to our major funders who are Alberta Law Foundation, Alberta Real Estate Foundation, and the Department of Justice Canada. That's from a financial standpoint, but we also benefit from a little help from our friends. So we collaborate with other organizations. It's very important for us because we're not an organization that um, interact very much directly with the public. We actually work with organizations that are what we call trusted intermediaries. Those people who interact with the public and who can um, tell us what is needed in, in the community, and then we produce those resources. So the, the organizations you see on, uh, on the screen are just a few of um, the partnerships we've had uh, recently. In fact, um, our very close partnership uh, with the French-speaking law professionals of Alberta, AGFA, has allowed us to really grow our French resources to the point where we have a special area for it, which is cpli.ca slash français. I'm going to throw at you a lot of uh, <laughs> links, but they always start by cpli.ca and then slash the, the topic that we're talking about. Um, we do have a smattering of, of resources in other languages, such as Tagalog, Spanish, Arabic, granted not nearly enough, but, uh, you know, we're, we're working on it slowly but surely. So we don't give legal advice. We are not a, a legal clinic. We don't tell people what they should or shouldn't do. We don't represent people in court. We don't do a detailed analysis of a particular person's problem. So in fact, what exactly do we do, right? Um, well, we provide legal information, plain and simple. So it's what the law says, where you can find out more, how to get help, and what the available legal options are. Uh, for your particular situation. And we do this by developing reliable, uh, up-to-date, plain language resources. And we, uh, and those resources, uh, we have absolute, uh, we have about, well, not about, over 200 resources, several websites and projects covering a variety of topics such as family and relationships, consumer and debt issues, employment, housing, human rights, charities, court services and legal procedures, all available in plain language. And we have different ways of making that information available. So our delivery um, methods are you know, many. Uh, 
what's most well known from CPLI is probably our print and web resources. So everything you can find on our website. And we also have uh, several very specialized websites. And I'm not gonna name them right now because I'm going to introduce them as we go in the presentation. Um, we also offer webinars and presentations such as this one and any kind of uh, public engagement we can actually attend. We have a phone number on our website um, where people can call and leave a message asking a question. We usually provide that information um, as quickly as we can, and it's usually um, links to resources that can provide information and also referrals to organization who can actually help that person. Uh, we're increasing our presence on social media and so we post regularly and the way we decide on our social media post is essentially uh, the questions that people send to us um, and also uh, in our analytics of uh, website visits uh, what are the most popular resources. What people are asking for is going to drive what we put out on social media. And also, I'd like to publicize a little bit. Every week we post our two minute quiz. So our two minute quiz is um, we pick a topic and um, ask people a few questions. You click on it, takes actually less than two minutes. And uh, just so you can you know, know how much do you know about this piece of, you know, this, this law or this, uh, these policies that, um, you know, we see all the time or we hear about all the time. So check us out on that one. And um, we also have a series of videos on our YouTube channel that we like to call Seatly TV. And on there, we have short videos on many different um, topics. And we also uh, put in the recordings of webinars that we've offered in the past for people who are interested in uh, digging deeper into some of those topics. And so um, our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Alberta. All right, so let's um, sort of jump into those different topics that um, we cover on our information bucket. So a family law is uh, obviously a huge one. It goes from uh, spousal support, child support, divorce, uh, um, in adult interdependent relationships. It's, it's a, a huge topic and um, that has a lot of visitors uh, throughout the year um, because people obviously need a lot of information. And that's an area of the law where people, uh, where a lot of people represent themselves in court. So uh, they need to have as much information as possible. And that information is all housed on cpli.ca slash family. And um, there you would find uh, our print resources, which are booklets and, and information sheets. We also have uh, links to frequently asked questions and also um, uh, videos and um, uh, articles uh, on our publication, Law Now, which I'm going to take this opportunity to actually introduce our first two specialized website, which is our FAQ website, um, lawfacts.org. Uh, which is a gathering of questions and answers about the different areas of the law. It's a very popular site. And in fact, Google has been taking a, a lot of our questions and answers in there. Uh, uh, you know, when you're asking a question on Google and it gives you the question and different answers. Um, our law facts is often um, referred to. And Law Now, um, lawnow.org, is uh, our ongoing digital publishing of articles relating different aspects of the law and current events to everyday life. So those articles are written by experts across the province. If any of you would be interested uh, in writing an article uh, on a law-related issue in uh, your field of expertise, get in touch with us. We're always looking for uh, writers uh, to enrich our publication. So that's the first two websites. Um, let's go back into the topics that we cover. 
planning for the future. Um, this one, uh, some people are hesitant or even superstitious about this topic. Um, of course, you know, talking about um, estates and mental capacity and personal directives and wills and medical aid and dying, um, it's, it, it's not topics that people like to talk about, but it's important to address, obviously, sooner rather than later. So we have a whole complement of information in planning for the future. And, and of course, it comes in the form of print resources, videos, uh, FAQs, and all that good stuff. But we separated it into uh, discrete areas. Cipli.ca slash planning for future care is about decision making and mental capacity. So processes and decisions that need to be made prior to somebody uh, being deceased. And cpli.ca slash wills and estates provides information about um, the processes and decisions and things that need to be done after death. Um, I always, I keep in those presentations, I keep saying uh, it's Every, everything that happens after death, and people think that we have inside knowledge on what happens after you die, but no, just what needs to get done in those processes. So anyway, from one uncomfortable topic to another, um, we all know that uh, people who are experiencing violence and abuse um, need information. They need information that's uh, easy to access and easy to understand as well, because um, you know when you're in a situation, in a dire situation, um, trying to sort out what to do is extremely difficult. Um, you usually don't do, hopefully don't do it alone, but if, if you do need information, we have a whole complement of that. Uh, our, um, our information, our resources about abuse and protection are separated in discrete topics. So short information sheets that cover a specific topic and so that it's not, there's not too many things going on uh, on one in one place and too complicated to uh, understand. Again, uh, we have all kinds of resources for that. That can be found at cpli.ca slash abuse protection. Two websites, two specialized websites are also from that area. Willownet.ca is a website completely dedicated uh, to abuse and the law. So easy to understand. Uh, um, and instead of PDFs, you've got web, um, web content that is easy to get out of as well if uh, somebody comes into the room and you don't want them to know that you're looking at that information. So willownet.ca. And oaknet.ca is um, our website dedicated to Alberta law for older adults. So again, a lot of really good information about uh, protecting yourself and planning. And uh, of course, we will have information about courts and uh, legal processes and legal services. Uh, when people are uh, wondering about different um, uh, processes and, and uh, they need to go to court or they're thinking of going to court, they need more information about even just the vocabulary that is used. What is an affidavit? What is um, um, serving someone? Um, what are the court fees? Um, and a, what's an adjournment? All of that is covered in our resources about courts and legal services. Um, you find those on uh, cpli.ca slash courts. And so on there, you've got links to uh, videos um, explaining specifically certain processes. Now, we are aware that in Alberta, because you know, probably in other provinces as well, but in Alberta, um, the, um, the processes are as varied as there are courthouses or there are areas in the province. So we can't possibly cover everything 
um, in one on one website or on one um, info sheets, but we can certainly give you um, a direction to go to to decide on next steps and perhaps who to contact to find out more about what those next steps should be. Um, and so, you know, again, print resources, videos, law now articles on this uh, court and legal services. Our next uh, topic has sadly been uh, a very popular one in the last couple of years. It's employment. And so a lot of people have been wondering about minimum standards, uh, job loss, and uh, generally their rights at work in Alberta. And so that has been a very, um, a very well attended area of, uh, of our uh, information component. And uh, of course, when you go to cpli.ca slash work, you will find a whole lot of information sheets that have to do with employments and different situations and what to do and step-by-step -step information. You will also find um, a link to a series of three webinars that we have done in collaboration with the Workers' Resource Center, talking about human rights in the workplace. Um, so if you're interested, it's a, a very a good discussion uh, on, um, you know, what to do, how to, how to access, uh, you know, more information and more services and more assistance when you have a situation at work. So um, I encourage you to watch for that as well. And... Uh, Young people are, of course, concerned by all the other areas of the law that I've been men that I've been mentioning. Um, so there's not not that there is a special um, a special way of presenting the law for young people, but sometimes there is. There is, of course, the Youth Criminal Justice Act that is uh, concerning young people. But there's also a lot of information that young people need to know on uh, navigating the justice system, um, especially if they don't have a huge support system, often it's good to have uh, a place where you can go and grab some information on that. So obviously, as you know, it's gonna be simply.ca slash youth. And on there, you'll see posters and also print resources. I'd like to point out uh, that our Law Now publication has a series of articles called I'm Turning 18, Now What? Um, and these are uh, based on um, questions that we've received over time and uh, current events and, and uh, um, pieces of information that young people sort of uh, moving over to the adult wor world need to know um, things that you know, could be potentially very different from being a young person to sort of going over to the adult world. So um, I encourage you to check out Law Now, of course, but that series is really good as well. And um, one of our latest um, projects that we've been working on is creating a suite of information about the conversion therapy ban in Canada. So we've received uh, funding from Justice Canada to create this suite of information in French and English. And um, they're composed of um, information sheets, posters, frequently asked questions, and an animated video uh, that you can find on CFLE TV that um, uh, explains what the conversion therapy ban is all about. Um, we also have a uh, web webinar recording um, talking with um, people who are personally affected by uh, conversion, who have been personally affected by conversion therapy and uh, what their take is on uh, what this ban means to them. So on Simply TV, you can find um, that uh, webinar recording as well, which is very, very interesting. All that suite of information you can find on cpli.ca slash criminal. And on there, you can also find information about sexting, sharing intimate images without consent. Essentially, all the subject or the topics that fall under the Criminal Code of Canada 
will be on cpli.ca slash criminal. This is an area that we're growing as well. Um, so there's not a ton of information in there yet, but there will be. All right. Another um, subject area that sadly has been very, it's been a high traffic area uh, in the last couple of years. And usually right after the holidays, uh, we have a lot of traffic on there for people looking for information about contracts and door-to-door and, uh, -door sales and things like that. But also uh, people who are facing serious uh, financial problems and are looking for information about their situation. So um, cpli.ca slash consumer law is where you go to get all those information sheets and uh, videos and things like that. I would like to highlight at the top of that page, you will find um, a button or a, a, a rectangle that says get help with debt in Alberta. And that is a project uh, that we have uh, developed um, as part of the Alberta Debtor Support Project in 2020, actually, when um, experts and uh, members of the judiciary were saying that they were expecting a lot of bankruptcies uh, happening as a result of people losing employment during the pandemic. And so I'm not sure if um, it is being realized the way they were projecting it would. I'm hoping not, but we all know that a lot of people are having um, issues uh, with debt at this point. And so um, it's so that button takes people to a guided pathway that asks uh, the user a series of questions to help narrow down what options are available to them. Um, you know, what should, should, or should they require the help of an organization such as Money Mentors to help them um, consolidate their debts? Are they at the point where uh, they need to look at bankruptcy? Um, and so all of that information is narrowed down for, for people to actually be directed to um, either organizations or um, additional information that can help them with their situation. So that's consumer. Another huge topic on our site is um, eviction, uh, not eviction, housing. So uh, our housing law resources have been developed over the years from two different projects that are funded by the Alberta Real Estate Foundation. And so there's the Residential Tenancies Legal Information Program, uh, which is about landlord and tenants. So um, leases, evictions, accommodations, all of that is covered in that project. The other project was the Condo Law Education Project. Uh, which is all about condominiums in Alberta. And so out of those projects, we of course created two separate specialized websites to help people find in the information they need. So landlordandtenant.org, a very, it's one of our most popular websites. And uh, that website outlines a bunch of information about you know, leases and uh, and um, uh, notices and living with a pet and things like that. It's all in there. And there's also condolawalberta.ca, which you know, talks about buyers and owners and condo boards and uh, uh, finances of a, a condominium complex and things like that. So a lot of really good information. Um, the condo world in Alberta has been um, up and down recently. So um, we have a lot of really good information for people who even uh, are thinking of purchasing a condo and want sort of some information as to how it works. So that's, that's it. On top of those two websites, we also have uh, a whole lot of um, freestanding uh, tip sheets and booklets on about housing. And uh, so from uh, uh, dealing with mold in your suite to, uh, to uh, my, you know, an eviction uh, 
checklist or not a checklist, but uh, it's samples of eviction notices and what to do with it. And uh, so a whole lot of different information on cpli.ca. We will have a slash housing um, area very soon. It's I didn't put it there because it's not ready yet. Uh, so if you go to cpli.ca and you look for the inform, like you type in the information that you're looking for, you'll find uh, more more than you even wanted in terms of information about housing. So that's for that topic. One big project, our, our latest endeavor that's really dear to my heart is um, self-directed learning modules that we're um, right now creating. Um, and this part of the work is to provide an additional way of uh, giving people information for some people who would like to dig deeper into specific topics. Um, we will be developing those uh, learning opportunities um, on different um, areas of law, obviously. Um, this particular piece, um, the self-directed learning, can also be direct, we are, is also directed, and I, I think primarily directed, uh, to uh, help our intermediary um, friends in different organizations to, uh, to sort of have a better idea of how they can help their clients um, through, uh, you know, family law or just simply understanding the uh, Canadian legal system and things like that. So we will be developing uh, this kind of learning opportunities for different areas of the law as we expand the project. So on cpli.ca slash learn, if you keep visiting it, you will see that we will be adding more and more uh, self-directed learning modules. The one on the screen right now is uh, our Nested Home Buying Guide for Albertans. So Nested is um, on a, in a soft launch situation right now, um, but um, it's, it's a short course that takes you through the different phases of the home buying um, endeavor. And so it, it covers everything a person needs to know about buying a home. In fact, the first time I went through this course, um, I've purchased a few houses in my life and uh, there were things in there that I I didn't know about so um, very informative if you're interested in uh, in in exploring this wonderful resource um, you can go to simply.ca slash learn and you can self-register in there and all we ask of you is that you give us a bit of feedback so we can continue to improve this resources um, and you know, sort of have that uh, that feedback, that very important feedback that we always need. So we continuously update our materials and we create new resources as needs arise. So um, keep in touch with us because, um, you know, we like and keep in touch in terms of you can follow our, our uh, social media outlets to find out what's going on, but it's also good to have people's reactions to what we put out and feedback. So uh, you can also subscribe to our monthly newsletter. Um, there's a handy dandy QR code there. You can take your phone and capture that QR code on your screen, and that'll take you to uh, a quick registration page to uh, subscribe to our monthly newsletter. We promise we do not send very many emails. It's usually the one monthly email that sends you what's new at CPLI, where we put a lot of the information that I've, um, you know, the new information that we put out. We also put out uh, information about our latest LANA articles and uh, different events um, that uh, we would like to promote. And there's also on what's new at CPLI, um, the list of those handy dandy little quizzes that I uh, told you about at the beginning. Um, I, we, we give people every month uh, a list of the quizzes that we've been putting out on social media so you can access them quickly. Next month in the February What's New will be, um, we'll be giving people access to what we hope 
to have a uh, yearly, the Great Legal Information Quiz of Alberta, where it's a bigger quiz that'll take maybe slightly more than two minutes. But if, um, if you dare, you can click on it and answer a whole bunch of questions about the laws that are all around you in Alberta that you may or may not know about. And so uh, just to check your, uh, your knowledge about the law um, in Alberta on there. Now, throughout the, the presentation, I've been talking about print copies of our resources. Now, a lot of people are happy to consult um, and, and look at information online, on their phone. Um, everything we have, by the way, is optimized to be um, uh, read or looked at on the phone or on a mobile device. But if you are the kind of person who likes to have the piece of paper in your hand to make notes, dog ear, fold, put in your pocket, uh, give out to other people, um, we do provide uh, hard copies. So if you would like hard copies of one or more of our resources, you go to cpli.ca slash store, and there you can um, select what you want and order. This will all be sent to you anywhere in Alberta, maybe outside of Alberta, I haven't asked, but uh, anywhere you are, you can, and you will receive those absolutely for free. We do not charge to, uh, to provide hard copies of our materials because we want people to have it anyway, uh, have that information any way they can. So um, I know, uh, Jessica, you had talked about having a, um, your own evaluation. But as I said, we do value uh, people's input. Uh, about our materials. So if you would like to provide input directly to us about this presentation, but also what you think about um, uh, what CPLI has to offer altogether, perhaps offer suggestions as to areas that we're missing or uh, pieces of information that in your work and you, in your interactions with clients, friends, family, you have found that is sorely lacking or that is needed you can let us know through that survey. So you can go to the link down or you can capture that QR code with your phone on the screen. And uh, we will be happy to receive your input. And I think I've talked enough. That is it for me. That is it for my presentation. So <laughs> I will stop sharing and um, I'll put it over to you, um, Jessica, so you can... Uh, direct us with the next steps. Of course, thank you so much, Natalie. And yes, thank you to um, everyone with your patience with me putting all the links in the chat. I just wanted to make it so that if you wanted to quickly go check out or put those in your browser to look at later, um, I am just gonna stop recording before we take questions. So just give me one second to do that.